Hi, welcome back to workout number 19. Today we have something different in store for you. Instead of doing all of your in-home exercises with no equipment, today we're going to involve a chair. It can be a folding chair or a stool. Our first workout with this is going to be a step up. So you want to make sure that this chair is fully extended and you're going to put one foot on it. You're going to go ahead and step up, drive your knee up and step right back down into here. Drive your knee up, back down. Making sure that your whole foot is on the chair. You don't want to have it here so the chair doesn't tip back. Whole foot on the chair, step up, step back down. Our second workout is push-ups. So you're going to put your hands on the chair in here, feet extended out, you're in a plank. Again, trying to keep those shoulders over your wrist, core nice and tight, driving down, and right back up. Next one is going to resemble a lunge, except for one of your foot is going to be elevated up here. You're going to hop out, again, being able to drop down, where the front of your knees in a 90 degree, and the knees not popping over your toes, and your second leg will be in a 90 degrees, hopping right back up, dropping right back down. Our next exercise is going to be bridges. We've done these before where our feet stay on the ground. This time we're going to drive up here. We're going to put our heels on the chair, laying on the ground, driving those hips up, pushing our heels into the chair, coming right back down, up again. Again, making sure that we're driving our heels into the chair. Our next one is bench dips. You're going to place your hands on the chair, fingers facing forward, facing your feet. You're going to walk your feet out, extended here, hips are up. You're going to drop yourself down and right back up. With your feet fully extended out, it will be a little bit harder. If it's too hard, you can bring your feet in, bending your knees, and still dropping down into the dip. Our next one will be a plank. Instead of keeping our feet on the ground, we're going to pop our feet up into the chair and hold here for an elevated plank hold. Next one here will be side lunges. Instead of just stepping out here into the side lunge from here, again, we're going to have one foot elevated, hopping one foot out, bringing ourselves into that lunge again, keeping our knee and our butt in line, sitting back into those hips, hopping up. If you have too much of a groin pull with your legs straight, you can go ahead and bend your knee here and pop out, and that will take away some of the groin strain from there. 